In your time, jaw jacking. I had to edit a video, so I was trying to get through my backlog from last year before. Not before our event, but hopefully before. Yeah, I've pretty much given up. Yeah, I have about 16 more videos, I think, to edit. I have more than 16 pictures to edit. <laughs> yeah, I had. Well, I went to um, last weekend. One day that didn't rain out, got to go to the World Outlaws late models and actually go outside and do something for once. All right. Speaking of Richard Dar, he just upped the uh, Peterbilt sign to 900 bucks. Add a baby. I tagged him before dinner, hoping one of him and about four other guys hoping they'd start fighting over it. Nice. Let's make Jesse guys at work for it a little bit. All right. I'll wait another minute or so. I'll let people jump in. Hopefully the printer works this time. I didn't test it again. So. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Just get out the Magnum 44 and start writing. Yeah. There you go. All right. Hey, speaking of that, speaking of that guy, there's that Adam guy watching already. What's happening, Adam guy? Yeah. Oh, hey, Adam, um, I don't know if you made the Empire State poster or not, but uh, Pro Field is spelled wrong. Field is, anyways. I can hear him cursing from here to all the way to New York. <laughs> In all uppercase. All uppercase. All right. Uh, let's get going. Um, light Supers and Pro Stocks. That's what we're drawing tonight. Um plan is hopefully tomorrow to do mods diesel supers and semis from what we have right now there's still potential that we there's parts is still an issue this year um not as bad as last year but definitely still an issue turbos um and cranks have been the big thing so um <clears throat> hopefully uh there's still a chance that we uh will fill out the mods um and semis we we should have hopefully a couple more coming. Um, still working on them again. They're just trying to get things together still. So, uh, yeah, with that, we will get things rolling here. I'm going to pull up this. So, first, we're going to do light supers. I'm going to present or share my screen here. And I want this one. All right, so if you guys haven't <clears throat> been in on the live streams as we uh, draw these numbers, um, we make it as the most random way possible. So I just take all the names, put them in alphabetical order of the tractor name or truck name, and we randomize it five times, and that's how we then draw them uh, for numbers um, in a random number generator. So I'm just going to randomize this five times. And then, so this will be the order that we draw them in. So start with Justin Hoffman, go to Bobby Jones, and go through the list until we get all the way through Brian Bowles. And I want to make sure. So this is um, just to show you, Light Supers, obviously, this is for Friday night. So it's up here. Um, and you can see that we've already drawn some of the other classes. So we, will. we still have, do not have a number one or a 999, right? 1,000. 1,000. Yep. Does go to, so it goes 1 to 1,000. There is no 666. We don't want to put any bad omens on anybody. And um, also, it if it's already been drawn, so I can just come into here quick, show you the 85s. Like 120, you cannot draw this number again. It gets pulled out of the pool. So, Is there a 13 in the mix? Uh, there is, because it can be lucky. All right. Fair enough. I know some some buildings don't have a 13th floor so that they don't have to send an yep. elevator to the 13th floor. So just wondered. Yep. Uh, so then here um, we just put in the class and then we put in the driver. So first one's going to be Justin Hoffman. 
and he is our defending champion from last year at TPC. And we'll hit print 437. And it's printing. Let's go. <laughs> Already off to a better start than last time. Yay, winning for technology today. Gotta love it. And so then I'll show you after everyone. So this makes it as random as possible, and we do this live on the live stream. Uh, one, it speeds up our registration process a lot. And two, um, it's proven that we're not trying to do some shady stuff behind the scenes. Oops, I should probably put in uh, Bobby Jones. Field sobriety, polls 7-Eleven. <clears throat> Next, we will go to Braden Shramick. 8.14. So, they acquired that tractor last year from Spiegelberg's and actually debuted it at our event last year. And a Brandon Phillips with, oh, he's got two tractors in here. I never pulled any of the names off from last year, so. Oh, it's still got the old one, yeah. Yeah, I was too lazy. I still pulled it. All right, <clears throat> I'll change the name. So, 889. And then we go to Adam Spiegelberg. I should probably put the class name, not. And the Detonator Black, defending NTPA champion, 792. to Bernie Plotz, Little Bad Alice, one of the diesel entries. Ooh, 700. 700's coming I up. know. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then we go to the other diesel tractor, the Light Trouble 820. And staying down south, we're going to go with the uh, Meany Families, Cujo Unleashed, 422. And uh, should be last one in the class, is Brian Bowles, 488. So, let me just make sure. I did miss somebody. Oh, I missed Larry Phillips. Reading comprehension, not the greatest tonight, I guess. And extremely insane, poll 661. There we go. Now, we'll sort this, and so this will be the polling order on Friday night. And don't forget to change Brandon. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Back over 
And we're going to move on to pro stocks for Friday night. So this is the order that we are going to be draw names. The quick readers among you might notice a little one surprise in there. Uh -huh. Yep. <clears throat> So it's also posted on the Facebook page today. So if you haven't seen it. Oh, you it, did. Okay. Yep. I haven't seen it. So I didn't know um, if it been posted yet or not. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> Simons will be bringing a, an entry here. <clears throat> so had some unfortunate mishaps uh, with one of the other tractors. Not going to drop names, but you guys would probably figure it out. The internet is pretty much a bunch of detectives. <laughs> So we're going to start here. Oh, first, I'm just going to prove that I've got nothing here for pro stocks. We're going to kick things off with. Okay, so I don't know who's actually driving what which night. So I don't yeah. know what Wildman's driving Die Hard, and they also have Wildman and Lemke driving yeah. listed under straight out of line. Um, so I'm just going to put Craig both nights. Was straight There's out two or three tractors in this class that could have two or three different drivers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's actually five drivers between three vehicles. Yeah. So, and they pull two hundred four. Why do I suddenly want to listen to Godsmack? I haven't had any Godsmack in my ear hole in a while. Well, maybe that, maybe we need to, do, well, I doubt we can get away with it with BMI and ASCAP or whatever that is, but we could play uh, straight out of line for their, uh, you know, staging music. That'd be fun. Uh, Chris Hoyt in that case is next. 31. Oh boy. Now we're going to draw all low numbers. <laughs> I, I just know, right? Right. <laughs> seems just to be the way it happens sometimes. Uh, let me go to Brandon Simon. Simon, uh, maybe a teaser for uh, later. Oh, just be on the lookout for something a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little Oops. louder. Oops. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe a I guess I forgot to add a little something, something in here. <laughs> 918. But. We're in our numbers off from pulling the 618. We haven't had anybody do it yet. <clears throat> uh, next, we'll go to Rhett Parish. And El Nino, seven sixty-eight. If Brett gets it in this class, it would be kind of perfect. That would be. Well, we're gonna find out. Where is it? I know I have a. Uh, did you just put it under 618 by chance? No. These should be... Okay. These are way out of order. <laughs> That's why. I know what I there did. There he is. There he is. He was up top. There you go. <clears throat> so there's a hidden a hidden tab with all their names in it. And when I put them in, I sort them by class so I can make sure I had, had everybody. But I never resorted by name. Uh, That's what happened. Um... Okay, yep. 618 Motorsports Pro Stock 996. <laughs> wow. Well, wow. they're pretty much be last. <laughs> All right. Might need that extra time for the paint to dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's uh it's getting close. It'll be there though. Uh, whoops, I should probably put so Wildman. We have Travis this time, Die Hard Deer 115. Any more 
paper. Okay. Next we have Esden Lemke and the new generation plus three seventy nine. Braden Shramick. Nope, oh, I gotta go find Pro Stocks now. Be this way. There we go. 776. Greg Elson, the T8 Tomcat, 804. And last but not least is going to be not Denny. I don't have, uh, all right, well, change the name. It's actually going to be um, Eli Brown. 903. So he just turned 16 in December, I believe, and it's going to be his first time driving the Pro Stock. Sweet. I talked to Denny yesterday, and uh, Eli is jacked. He is excited. Should be. Well, and, and for those of you who know, um, who know the Brown family and have had any interaction with Sam, the man... Ice runs through that kid's veins. He could be so mad at you, he wanted to whack you in the forehead with a baseball bat. He would never show it. He could be as happy as a clam. He would never show it. Eli, as Denny tells me, is not that way. <laughs> and he's he is absolutely pumped. He cannot wait. Um, <clears throat> team tractors all uh, decided to yeah. pile up next to each other. But gonna be a good class. I'm really looking forward to it. <clears throat> I'd have to go back and look and see if there isn't an approximation of what we got there to a, a farm show session for like you know the same guys being in it. Yeah. Oh, let's take a look. Quick. Got time. Well, I'm pretty sure. All but well, obviously the six one eight pro and right. nutcase were all at the farm show, right? Yes. So. They're making me download Excel spreadsheet to look at the results. These are the results for pros and yeah. So three of them were in the yeah, but team you know whiskey wild's a team tracker too, and they got some of that going on. But. Yeah. Anyways, Brent, how far um, back do you have spreadsheets with farm show uh, results? Me? Yes. Uh, that was off their website. Oh, okay. All right, um, I'm going to, I don't think I need this one anymore, so I can close this one. This one, uh, where the hell did, oh, yeah, you're right, it's over here. All right, so. Too many screens open. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to sort these, uh, these names, because it's driving me nuts quick, so. And 
add Eli to here as well. And I'll sort this properly so I'm not going all crazy. <clears throat> Try that. Okay. All right, randomizing this again five times. And then we'll do Saturday night. So that's the way that we'll draw this go around. And this should be Saturday. Just to prove nothing here in light supers. We'll get rocking and rolling. I need to grab my spreadsheet here. list here. Um, Bobby Jones is first. 733. So now that we're on a different day, different numbers got him get drawn. So and Clay Haney 584 Bernie Potts, 145, coming off a big old win down in Tennessee, I believe. Yeah, I think, I think that's right. And uh, Justin Hoffman, last one standing, 371. Again, our defending champion from the last year. <clears throat> Oops, let's try light supers. I almost skipped Larry Phillips again. And I didn't see that as four something. Adam Spiegelberg defending NTPA champion with 664. Brandon Phillips. All right, let's see which one this one is. Not that one. Try it again. I'm hoping that I actually put them in here. Yeah, I put them in here. 252. <laughs> Brian Bowles with 404. And hopefully he has a little better luck than he did last year. Yeah. Yep. And Tramick. It's 98. Ryan Henley is our last one. Another diesel. Oh. That was 40 something, I think. I don't think that was 48. Yeah, 482. It's 
So here is that's the order for Saturday night. Gonna move on here to the Pro Stocks. Whoops. Get them drawn for Saturday. So that's the way we'll draw this go around. We'll just get moving right along. So, <coughs> done here for Pro Stocks. <clears throat> First one is Travis Wildman, the Die Hard Deer, 803. Parish, the El Nino, forty five, and Shramic, and Crowstock, three thirty five. This tractor is actually sitting alongside the 618 tractor currently. Getting some last minute things done to it. There's also a reason why Paul's not on the show right now. Uh, <clears throat> straight out of line. 963. And with those not familiar, that one is the Kloss tractor. Brandon Simon, loud and heavy, two-time defending champion, Lucas Oil Pro Polling League, was Lucas Oil Pro Polling League, now just Pro Polling League, 227. They've been coming in hot with some uh, streaming and TV announcements the oh, last yeah. few days. And Brett Hackstead, the new 618 Motorsports Pro Stock. 748. I was hoping for 618. I know. For one of them, anyway, whether that or on the 4.1 side. But And Esden Lemke, he was our champion last year, 821. Eli Green with Envy, 164. That might make him first so far. I think so. Greg Elsing, T8 Tomcat, 697. I don't know what's worse, to be early for my first time where I have no idea what to expect or the second time where I have time to envision and think about it now that i got one under my belt. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Chris Hoyt in the nutcase. Oh. Everyone for 
Saturday night. And that's the way that literally, how is this pop? <laughs> Both nights. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh boy. That's too funny. Haters will say it's rigged. But what well, with with ten in the class and you have thirty oh, yeah. and you have three of them. I mean the chances are actually pretty decent. Pretty decent, yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a great class pro stocks. Really looking forward to them. Actually, being being team trackers back to back to back like that, it's kind of almost a hindrance because you don't have time to react to what exactly. you learn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Unless you're wearing radios. Even even then, Sorry. you don't really have time to act on whatever you've learned. Yeah, you might you might get a weight change or an air change. I don't know if you can pull out both unless you get an army with you. Right. Well, and and they do kind of. I mean, they they roll in packs. They may be able to pull that off, but I don't know that they could do it if if they learn something. You know, if if Travis learned something, don't know that they could get that change completely made for Esden. They could do it for Craig, but yeah. Or you know, you're trying trying to make change. You got a guy still spraying ether. You got a guy spotting the sled. I mean, it starts pretty quickly. It adds up. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to take weights off while the tractor is in motion. Yeah. Not recommended. No, zero of 10. Broken toes. I'm going to. He's uploaded then to the website. Stop sharing my screen. Let's see. We want that one. And almost, maybe. <laughs> there we go. And then we want Saturday. Make sure it's actually there. Yep. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here again and present, share screen, that screen. So if you come onto our website, I just got the lineups posted here. So Friday night lineups. You will now see Pro Stocks as well as Light Super Stocks. Uh, we still have Diesel Supers, uh, Mods and Semis. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, at the very latest, it'll be Monday before probably Monday night or Monday night show or something like that. But I'm also running out of time to do this. So the plan is by the end of the week. Um, and then here's Pro Stocks and Light Supers. For Saturday. And Friday trophies are supposed to come. So I'll be we'll be kind of <clears throat> I'll probably make a post on Facebook page. I hope they turn out cool. The drawing look cool. Try to make something a little bit more unique. Um, and then live stream. If you can't make it to the event, live stream, just click on that tab there and click get tickets. It'll take you right to the What Smoking website to purchase them. So you just scroll on down and you can purchase them here. Uh, $40 for the weekend or it's $25 for uh, just per session. Um, so you do get a $5 off on each session if you do bundle them together. And any information about the event is under the event info tab here. <clears throat> um, you can see the polling order for both Friday and Saturday night. What's on which track? Um, this is subject to change. We don't. We're not 100% sure. This is kind of we talk with uh, 
Christy with the Pro Bowling League as they're going to be running the event. <clears throat> and then we uh, came up with a pulling order that we thought was best. Shout out to Brandon Bungart, who's uh, the sleds that we're using. And he kind of made one suggestion, made that change. And so this is kind of what we're thinking of for right now. So we wanted to switch it up, not run everything in the same order on the same track this year. Uh, we wanted to switch it up. Some some classes are on the same track, some aren't. Um, and for the most part, most the most classes are in a different order. I think minis are the only ones that pull second both both nights. So other than that, uh, t-shirts, um, they're we should pretty sure they're made or are being made right now, and so we'll have those early next week. Uh, so we will be selling those at the track. Um, actually, there are no sweatshirts. This is going to get updated. Um, decided against it. Didn't sell a lot of them last year. Had a big surplus of them. So just this year is going to be t-shirts, and I believe there's going to be some hats as well. Um, but yeah, May 19th and 20th, track of holes hours in Nashville, Illinois. It's 20 bucks a night. Um, no weekend pass and um, no advance tickets of any sort. Uh, plenty of seating available, so just come in and enjoy. If you are looking to camp, um, just try to reach out to us ahead of time if possible so we can kind of have some sort of idea of how many to expect. Um, but the information about camping is here. It is primitive camping. It's first come, first serve. There is a limited amount of spots left or uh, available as you will be parking just kind of like adjacent to the pit area. Uh, so we just need to make sure we have enough room for uh, toters and trailers. Um <clears throat> You can come. You can come in um, early um, if you want. All that information is here, uh, so just come on the website under lodging and just go under camping. Uh, if you want to see everybody who's uh, currently registered and signed up, um, just come under the 2023 polars, and you can find that information. Uh, we'll have the results posted on after each night. <clears throat> Plan is I'm hoping that we get done in a decent time, and I will have them uploaded after the poll within the within an hour um hopefully uh that's the plan we'll see how that goes otherwise they'll be posted in the morning and still taking sponsorship so if anybody still wants to sponsor we uh we still are accepting sponsorship pretty much up to the event so if you roll into the event and decide you want to do some sort of sponsorship let us know we can definitely uh we'll make it happen um same with vendors if you want to sell anything at the event, uh, just uh, reach out to us and we, uh, we'll we get you squared away. We will um, find a way to take your money. <laughs> absolutely. And at this point, um, assuming we get the last couple sponsor checks that are in the mail, uh, we have covered everything for event cost. Uh, so we will be putting, as of right now, we should be putting in a little bit into the pot from extra sponsorship dollars. So on top of all the admissions and the yep. live stream or the live stream purchases yep. so you know so this, if this event goes is, the way we want it to yep 100 percent of the game spot. and live stream goes to uh to the purse um guaranteeing fifty thousand dollars at the gate uh from brad so if we if we fall short for it from it for whatever reason if we make forty five thousand at the gate he'll stick in an extra five to make it 50. um <clears throat> so thank you to brad uh, also, Loose Agency is sponsoring Friday night winners a $500 check. So if you win on Friday night, you just get an extra $500 bonus. So uh, thank you to Loose Agency for that. Uh, they are also the class sponsor of the 85 Limited Pro Stock class and 95 Limited Pro Stock class. Uh, Chaos Fabrication is the Pro Stock Tractor uh, class sponsor. And we, of course, can't thank Prescription Tillage Technology enough for sponsoring as a title sponsor this year. Um, they... I believe we'll be coming on the show Monday. I think that's so. the plan. As yeah. yep, as long as everything works out, mm. they will be coming on the show Monday. Um, we'll be kind of going through what you know what they're all about. I'm not a, in the farming world, so a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense to me. But to a lot of people out there, it does. And um, from the way that Cody was explaining it, it, seems like it's a pretty neat neat stuff that they actually do. Uh, and he's yeah, a guy who relates so. to our world because he's a coming puller himself. So. Yeah, yep. exactly. And he is building building the truck, right? He's three O yeah. truck. Yep. I think it's. I want to say it's a three O or maybe a three. I think it's. A, I thought it was a three six for some reason. It might be a three six. 
but yeah, so it's, uh, again, we can't thank them enough. You know, their sponsorship is uh, huge uh, to the success of this event. So, um, and of course, can't forget all the other sponsors. So I'm going to go through them quick. 618 Motorsports, Acela Racewear, Egg Protect One, Agri Mac Wheat Company, Egg Venture, Waymeyer Seed, Apex Turbo, Beer Money Pulling Team, Big St. Charles Motorsports, Built Diesel Mafia, Cat Bros Motorsports, Sempico Lubricants, Chaos Fabrication, Corset Data Acquisition, DeKalb Asgro Seed, Jonathan Schneider, Eli Lisk, Fair Valley Performance, Farm Credit Illinois, Freight Solutions Group, Gateway Seed, Esden Bartling, Bullsauer Auto and Motorsports Group, GMR Motorsports, HR Agri Power, HD Specialties, Heritage Iron Magazine, Bullsauer Pro Motorsports, Kuzak Family, Hooked Up Pulling Productions, Hurricane Specialized, Joe Bush Egg Repair, Kawasaki Parts Warehouse, Lutz Agency, Salem Bean Performance, Miley Machine and Fabrication, Modern Machine and Tool, Prescription Tillage Technology, Pro Polar Tires, Schultz Mortgage Team, Worley Custom Fabrication, SRMD Solutions, St. Charles Harley Davidson, Super Clean, and the track at Holes Hours. So thank you. All sponsors in any way, shape, or form that you would sponsor this year. Um, it's awesome. Did a lot better in sponsorship this year than we did last year. Um, so that's, it's nice to see growth there. And we're just hoping now that we see a big, big growth at, at the event. We hope that we can just pack that place full. Hopefully we can start just pulling out those old bleaches out stored away behind everything else. And, make some more room for uh for saturday night so oh i think if brad needs to he would actually have a crew on standby to build brand new bleachers <laughs> i don't even know if he'd pull out the old ones um yeah also oh i actually haven't posted on the website uh, we did create a map of the facility um kind of the layout of everything i'm actually gonna pull that up quick um i totally forgot we sent it to all the pullers and i need to find where I saved it to first. Um, one, so there's been a couple updates to the facility this year. Everything's been chip and tar or whatever, however you, whatever you call that. Um, so the gravel's gone. Uh, a lot of that dust will be non-existent now. Um, not having to run the water truck around and <clears throat> kind of keep that dust to settle. And then also... I think they are supposed to be ready for the, our event are like the press boxes or the whatever that he was building on the east side of the track. I think, yeah, east side. So on the permanent bleachers on, which would be like the grandstand side, not the pit side. All right, let me find this map. Where did I save it? <coughs> Is it this? It is this. So this is the the overview of the mat uh, of the facility. So sixty four, the main interstate that just runs through net like Nashville. You get off the exit, take one twenty seven <clears throat> to the south, and you'll come into Nashville. Uh, right before you hit Holes Hour Road here or Holes Hour Drive, um, there'll be a road or little entryway off of here for spectator parking, and then there's an opening here to walk into the facility. Um, if you keep going to the south, you go to Nashville, there'll be an entry gate here for all pollers and anybody that wants to get into the pits. Um, that's where you can pay. Otherwise, there will be there's another ticket booth just off to the side over here. If you just are going to come in, just sit in the, um, in the bleachers on the east side of the track. Um, the hot pit area will be here. Uh, last year, the scales were right about there, and there actually is a concrete pad now back here. Uh, where all the scaling and drawbar height will be checked. And then the hauler parking is everything in the blue area. And the campers will <clears throat> go alongside the uh, tree line all the way up to um, what is now was a gr gravel parking lot, but is no longer gravel parking lot. And then there'll be bleachers on each side. Uh, Nounsa Towers is over here. And the track is this way. So you'll be pulling to the south. There'll be two video boards at the end, one displaying our sponsors. And one displaying um, whatever is being shown to the live stream. Um, and there is the new building that was built here. Uh, you would have saw it last year under construction. That is now fully done. So, um, yeah, that's ill. Oh, and then the kid zone will be set up up here. And that's where uh, the bounce house 
And there is going to be a kitty pedal pull that will be taking place. Uh, do you remember the time offhand? Two three o'clock three? Saturday, I thought. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me and check. then it's supposed to go till pull time, I believe, or an hour before or something like that. Uh, there'll be more details on it. Uh, we just got that confirmed this week. So, uh, And then PM. also the Raminator truck that will be parked somewhere over there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. There will be food vendors on both sides of the track. We will be serving um, beer and soft drinks and all sorts, sorts of stuff. There's going to be snow cones and ice cream and lots of other options and a little bit more than last year. Just trying to make it a little bit better for the pullers. If you're watching, there's going to be garbage cans in the pits this year. That's uh, that's been rectified, um, as well as the speaker system was one of the other big things last year. New speaker system, and they forgot to hook up one side of the speakers that was by the announcers tower, so you couldn't really hear anything if you're sitting on the pit side of the track. <clears throat> and that's been fixed. Uh, so that was actually fixed by the June pull three weeks later, and sounded good so uh other than that i don't really know what else there is to talk about i think there's lots to talk about but show up watch guys who are really good at doing stuff beat up on each other yep yes so like i said as right now what's on the website is you know that should be confirmed and there might be a couple more semis maybe another mod Maybe another diesel super. Um, but as of right now, that is pretty much going to be the final final lineup. <clears throat> um, as long as everything goes well, we're going to have an amazing, amazing event. So definitely looking forward to it a lot more than last year was just so unknown. At least now we kind of kind of know what what things are, go, are going to be, you know, happening this year. PPL coming in and actually running the events takes a lot of stress off of us trying to figure out that logistics and yeah, it should be a, just a great event overall. And I'm hoping, hoping we have a power track and there's going to go balls of the walls this week, this next weekend. So what are we? Nine days. Is that what it is? Yeah. Nine days. Nine days. We'll be pulling nine days from now. And then, Oh my gosh, it'll blink and it'll be October. Hey, yep. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, camping access will be the same way you would come in if you're yep. a competitor. So you'll come in this way, you'll come down, and then back around here, and you'll just come in. And at the scales, you'll have to you'll have to get on a horse, a pack mule, you know, and and pull all your stuff in there. Yeah, that's how yep. that works. So if you are a camper, please be there before three p.m. on Friday, as we start scaling at three p.m. on Friday. Yeah, we, we did say it's primitive camping, so we're going to make you park it Amish style. <laughs> yeah. So, and if you do come late, uh, it might be something where you're not going to be able to get through the hot pit area um, if we start staging. So right. we'll probably ask you to go down, unhook or something, park in the spectator area, park down it, and drop off your camper at the truck stop down the road, something, because uh, you will not be able to get in once those – Tractors get staged. Can they and get in? You are we thinking that we could potentially get them in after the show? Yes, that kind of yeah. the, that would be the plan. Yeah. Though, right? So we just it's just going to get chaotic because you're going to have to come down more than likely where the scales are. Yep. Um, and if they're scaling, there's just no way you're going to get in. There's going to be a lane by the hot pit for like Friday night or after Saturday night that. We're going to have some sort of lane open for anybody that wants to leave um, once they're done hooking. So we just uh, we just don't need people getting in the way. We just want this to run smoothly, not have any issues. We want to be done by 10 o'clock, and that's our goal. So the more you cooperate with us, it makes our lives a whole lot easier and just better overall. So. I don't suspect any issue. I don't think we had anybody show up late, so I'm not trying to call anybody out or anything, but just be mindful of it. Sweet. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's going to be a long, it's 
gonna, nine days is gonna come fast, but it's also gonna be a long nine days. And <laughs> and yeah. so I'll be. I don't know when you guys are heading down, but I'll be down uh, Wednesday morning. I'm leaving. I think down there. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the video board set up on the road again. Um, do some free advertising. Um, and then start hanging banners and getting all the fun stuff done. 9,000 other little <laughs> things that we will not think about until we're standing there. Yeah. Yep. We're, yeah. It's at least you don't have to make track markers this year. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank heavens for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, I, I'm just, you know, pray for good weather and great turnout. And I just, I just want to pay, pay some big, big dollars. These guys, that's, that's the goal. I was actually having a conversation with uh, somebody yesterday, and Bowling Green. I was looking up, and they s- said that on s- like Saturday night they have forty thousand people there. And so, say you have forty thousand people there both nights. <laughs> I did the math on it, and it's I want to say it's like one hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars for a, per class per purse. Yeah. If we were at ever, I mean, it, it's, it would take. A long time to get that big. Um, well, we didn't. We didn't start it not to try. Exactly, but it, it's like one hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars for the person. Like forty-five thousand dollars went to first place. Yes, it was wide Schulte. Yeah, and la- last place I think still took home six grand. Yeah, potential is there. Mm-hmm. So on on you guys to turn out. Yep. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, like I said, you guys come out and support this event. If you can't make it in person, please support the live stream. That all goes right to the right to the purse. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you can't be there, get the stream and watch anyway. It's it all goes to these guys regardless. So. Yep. And you can. We know for a fact. We had pictures sent to us that you can watch a stream in a in a tractor. So if you are still yeah. in the field, you you can still do it. So, um, like I said, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll draw the last of the classes um, of what we have. If we do it, add any more. Um, those are the last three classes that aren't filled. That's why they're last. <clears throat> and if we have add some afterwards, we'll just we'll just draw them at the event. So, some of us even watch other events while we're announcing other <laughs> events. <laughs> Allegedly. Now there was proof of that of one instance particularly anyway. Yep. All right. Well, I'm getting hungry cuz uh I forgot to eat and I don't do that. I'm going to go get some I don't know, something. Let's go <laughs> scavenge the fridge for something. All right. All right, boys. Have a good All night. Right. Thanks guys. Yep. See ya. Yeah.